Hello and welcome to my stream series, How to Stream Like a Ninja. And in this last episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can take that content from stream and put it into a variety of different places, whether you just want to share the link, whether you want to post it to Yammer, or whether you want to get really, really cool and embed it in different places. So let's get started. So from the stream homepage, let's go and find some of our content. If we go up to my content and go to videos, then we'll be able to see our videos from here. So if I click into a video or go and find a video that I want to go and share, then I can click into the video or I can go to the three dots and I can choose the option share. That's going to bring up the share option. So you'll see there there's a link. I just need to click into the link or press copy and that's going to copy the link. So now let's go off to Canvas. Perhaps we could put it there. There's lots of places where we could now put this link. But I've got a page here in Canvas. So I'm going to go into that page and I'm going to edit this page. First of all, we need to make sure we put a bit of text on the page because no one likes to read and then all that just starts HTTPS. We like to see a bit of human readable text. So make sure you put your text, highlight it, and then use the add link to insert your URL onto that bit of text. So now we've got a link to that video, but we can do more. So perhaps you use Yammer at your organisation. One thing you can do from stream is you can share directly to Yammer. And this is a really, really great time saver. So you make your video, you publish to stream, it gets all your transcripts, so you've got all your accessibility in, and then you just need to put your post into Yammer with your hashtags and make sure all of the groups within Yammer know about it. It's an absolutely fantastic way to save you time. It saves you having to go and get that link, take it to Yammer, write out your message there. You just literally press share to Yammer and then post and it's done. So there's a lot more we can do with the share options there. So I've just shown you that. You can also email the link straight to a colleague from within stream. You don't even need to copy the link and go to an email. So we just need to put my name in and then press send and close. That's going to close this window. That's going to send me an email with a link to that video. Really, really great time saver. So then we've got embed codes. So for those of you familiar with embed codes, it's a way of getting some HTML text information for your computer that the computer understands and means it can put your content into a lovely window wherever you want it. So we're going to customize the settings and press copy. Let's get back to our canvas page. And this time we're going to use the insert edit media to embed. We just paste our text into there. And now you can see that our video is lovely and embedded. So where else can we put stream videos? Well, there's a lot of different places, as I'm sure you're all aware, where you can embed content like this. But I particularly like Sway. So within our organisation, I train staff. And one of the things I like to do is put together training materials like this so that people can work through them and they can work at their own pace. So here's a Sway that I'm creating and I've called it Stream Video. Um, we've put an embed card in there. You can change the different size, but I've just chosen to use the original size for the original video. And you'll see it's embedded straight in my Sway there. I can embed further videos if I want to. Jumping back to Yammer, you can see there is our post that we did earlier, straight in the Yammer page, we don't have to do anything. So in one of the earlier episodes, we was looking at channels. Channels can also be embedded and this is a really, really good way of actually creating kind of like a playlist and then embedding that on your website, on your VLE or wherever you like really. So again, we set the settings for what we want the embedded video to look like. We copy that text and now we're going to go back to our canvas page again and this time we're going to put our embedded channel onto our canvas page at the bottom there. So we go to insert and add media again, paste the text into the embed window and this time when we click save and we return to the page we're going to see a link, we're going to see a video and then we're going to see an embedded channel right at the bottom of that. If there were more videos in that channel there'd be a list of tiles at the bottom there and that's just great for users to be able to access content quickly and easily at their fingertips and it means you don't have to keep sending links around and wasting your time. So I hope you've enjoyed the stream series and I look forward to seeing your stream videos too. Take care. Bye for now.